Time now is 613. Welcome back to KHOU 11 Morning News. We are bringing you back from the break with Rocket Man as we take a live look at NASA's live stream of astronaut Frank Rubio traveling home. Rubio is landing in Kazakhstan right now. The American astronaut spent 371 consecutive days in space. Our Ugochi Iloka is live at Johnson Space Center here in Houston. Ugochi, this is a new record for space travel. Hey, good morning, Kimberly and staff. Well, you just said it. It is U.S. astronaut Frank Rubio has broken that record. We understand the most consecutive days, as Kimberly just mentioned, in U.S. space history. That is a total of 371 days in orbit. Now, keep in mind, this wasn't on purpose. In fact, if you ask Frank Rubio, he'll tell you if he knew he had to stay in space an extra six months, he probably would have turned the trip down and not go up because he prioritized his family and didn't want to be behind from them uh, for so long. So we know that NASA says that a coolant link disabled their ferry ship last December, causing the Russians to launch a replacement one last February. Now this resulted in the trio space crew staying half a year longer to put the Russian crew rotation schedule back on track. Now when you are in space, you lose density and muscle mass. So now Rubio and the crew are preparing to get used to their earth legs again. That's what they call them since they haven't really been using them for the last year. The reality is we're not standing, we're not walking, uh, we're not bearing our own weight. And so it'll be a f anywhere from two to six months before I essentially say that I feel normal. Up there, so at least mm -hmm. he had somebody to talk to. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ugochi, what comes next after he lands? Hey, Steph, so we know that, of course, the crew there, the trio, will essentially have to get used to the gravity for a few minutes, as they just mentioned, a Frank Rubio you heard there. Then we understand that NASA says the three men will be essentially carried away in uh, chairs over to an inflatable medical tent to be checked out after they get their suits removed. And then they will be flown by helicopter to a nearby base. As for a Frank Rubio, we understand he'll be hopping on a NASA jet and heading back to Houston. Oh, that's exciting. I'm sure they're excited to get their earth legs yes. back and Frank to get home quickly to his family. Ugochi Loka, thank you very much for that live report. Time now.